Hi, I'm Stuart Scott. I'm the CIO and EVP at JB Hunt, and I lead the engineering and technology organizations here. I've been here about six years, and I had a phenomenal time getting to know this industry and this company. My career before now has been as technology leaders in Fortune 5 companies. I've worked in all kinds of industries, healthcare, retail, industrial, consumer manufacturing. But what I found here at JB Hunt is a culture of innovation second to none. So at JB Hunt, we started out as a trucking company, uh, hauling rice holes a long time ago, 60 years ago. Since then, we've disrupted ourselves multiple times. We've introduced our intermodal business. Uh, which is our largest business today, and that's taking freight off the roads and putting it onto the rail. We have a dedicated business now, a large uh, dedicated services business. We've got brokerage now too, and so the company has, has a history of disrupting itself and looking for new and better ways to serve customers. And that's really where technology has now played a critical role in this cycle of innovation that we have going on at J.B. Hunt, and I'm very excited to be part of that. So let's talk about our industry and what's happening. Supply chain disruption is everywhere. I mean, we're dealing with it, everyone's dealing with it, it's unprecedented. You know, in a $4 trillion global industry, in the US, we've got about a trillion dollar business and it runs with a $300 billion of waste. And that's just been exaggerated with all the supply chain constraints that we have with ports being congested, labor shortages and warehouses and, and in driver shortages and everything that, that we're all dealing with as consumers every day. And that has really accelerated our need to adapt and to drive technology innovations even faster to meet the needs of our customers. And one of the things that I get asked is, well, what's the core root of some of the challenges that technology can really help us with? And I would say in a word, that's fragmentation. Fragmentation because we have over three and a half million trucks on the road in, in North America. We have millions of shippers. There's hundreds of load boards. Uh, we have technology and we have data sitting in all kinds of silos in ERP systems and TMS systems that are all isolated to themselves. And that fragmentation of the assets in our industry, of the demand that we have for moving freight and where that data sits housed and, and isolated is really what we need to attack. And that's why the future of tech uh, in the freight industry is now. So why is the time now for freight tech to really change the game? And it really comes from several technologies and, and industry capabilities that are happening now. We have intelligent assets now that we didn't have before. If you think about the tractors and the trailers and the ELD mandate that started uh, the electronic logging for, for those tractors, if you think about the IoT devices that we've got on our trailers and on our pallets to know where things are, to know what's happening environmentally to that inventory, both in motion as well as at rest, mobile computing and smartphones. Drivers have adopted smartphones across our industry. Uh, so all of those factors are really helping create an intelligent network of data that's gonna create visibility for us. Let's talk about the cloud. The cloud is there to provide scale, to provide interconnectivity uh, for all of those disparate silos of information that I talked about. And the time is now with APIs, with data mesh and data fabric and some other new technologies, we're really able to compute against data and in place rather than having to move that data all over the place. And that's gonna allow us to connect platforms, not just systems, but connect platforms into an ecosystem. And then finally, automation, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, the data and the scale at which we can process trillions of data points at a time running through data science models, that's gonna really add to this capability with visibility, with a connected ecosystem, applying data science is really gonna revolutionize our entire industry and really make freight automated. So let's talk about those three avenues, visibility, ecosystem, and data science. And let's start with visibility. This is the one that's furthest along in disrupting and really accelerating the transformation of our industry. The ELD mandate from the last decade has started the process of adding intelligence to the tractors and with IoT devices, we've been able to put intelligence and tracking and environmental sensors onto the pallets, into the containers and the trailers that are out there. And drivers have adopted mobile computing and smartphones in a dramatic way over the last five years. So I'd say for visibility, while today 
We can track a pizza or we can track a book that's being shipped across the world easier uh, than we can a 53-foot trailer. The 53-foot trailer is catching up and we're getting to where we really have gone through the disruption. The industry has adapted to this visibility need and this cry from all of us to know where things are, whether they're in motion or at rest. And now we're really into the acceleration phase of that. And with that acceleration, you're starting to see lots of uses for this new visibility and this new information that we're gathering. We're talking about electronic documentation, we're talking about automated check calls. There's just a plethora of things that, that we're able to do now. A lot of venture capital money went into this space a while ago, and those players are really starting to deliver value. And that's really where JB Hunt 360, our digital platform, has leaned into partnerships with those ELD providers, with those IoT uh, providers and those startups to really create visibility for all of our carriers and our shippers. The second technology that's really going to transform the freight industry is that ecosystem. The cloud has been around for a while and there's a lot of companies that have successfully leveraging the cloud for infrastructure as a service, uh, to deliver software as a service, and a number of technology companies do that as well. And the advanced companies today in the technology space really have developed platform as a service. And those platforms allow people to come together from different systems and share data. But there's another step. There's another generation that's coming. And it's already starting to materialize. And that's the ecosystem. And an ecosystem is when you can connect platforms in a way that's seamless to the users. And you meet the users where they are, but they have access to information and being able to make decisions in a dramatically different way, in a simpler way, in a more informed way. So let's talk about what that enables. If we're able to connect platforms with APIs, with a data fabric and a data mesh that allows us to implement microservices inside of those platforms, then we can meet the users where they are. They don't have to leave the environment they're in. And I talked about the environments being the TMS systems, the ERP systems, the WMS systems that are out there today. And if we can blend the best platforms together into that unique experience, it's one that's really going to change how we can automate freight. And I'll give you an example of that. JB Hunt, we just recently announced uh, a launch of our platform being integrated with SAP's platform so that SAP users can have all the power of the JB Hunt 360 platform inside of their SAP experience. And that's the power of the ecosystem that is already starting to disrupt our industry. And companies right now are trying to figure out how to adapt to that new world. And finally, there's data science. Data science will absolutely transform our industry. But we haven't even scratched the surface yet on what it's capable of. We need to stick the landing on that visibility so that we know where everything is in our industry, where it is now, where it's going, when it's gonna get there, what is needed in the future. And with that visibility, combine it with that ecosystem I talked about so that we can transact against that information, so we can make business decisions based on that. But when you put data science into the mix and automated decision-making and machine learning, that's when the power of the transformation is really gonna happen. I'm often asked, how do you appreciate the impact that data science is gonna have? And because we really haven't seen it yet, I use an analogy and I go back to my days in middle school. If, uh, if you remember middle school science fairs, there was always that volcano project, right? There was one of the, the students had a volcano. And I think about our industry as that, that volcano. And if I think about the, the baking soda that you put inside that volcano, really that's the data. That's the intelligence that you have from visibility. That's that interconnected ecosystem. It's the fuel. But when you pour the vinegar into that volcano and it erupts, that's what data science is going to do. When we really nail data science, it's going to erupt and disrupt our industry in a significant way. We work closely with a number of technology leaders, um, and we've been working closely with Google in an announcement that we made on how do we bring data science and machine learning to our industry in a significant way, in a way 
that truly captures the vision of J.B. Hunt and create the most efficient transportation network in North America. So let me bring it home with something that I think our industry could really use and understand as disruptive. And let's take something that we use as a tool every day called the routing guide. The route guide has been around for a long time. It's been around forever. It's a very static uh, but established way of matching freight. It starts out with an annual RFP process. The route guide is hard-coded with a decision on how freight is meant to be moved by who and where in what lanes. But it's really an antiquated approach if you think about it. It's very inefficient. This is what causes a lot of the fragmentation that I talked about in data being stored in all kinds of places. There's probably as many carrier qualification databases as there are carriers in our industry with that fragmentation. So let's take a new look at what a routing guide could be. It could be organic. It could be dynamic. It could start with the output that we want, the service levels, the price sensitivity that we have, the current and future capacity capabilities that exist in our industry with visibility. That routing guide could be intelligent and smart and make decisions at the moment that those decisions need to be made with real-time information about what's happening in the both macro and, and micro economy around those goods and services. And that's what we need to think about is how do we take fixed structures that run our industry today because we have to deal with such limited information when making those decisions and how do we make them organic and dynamic in a way that leverages data science that leverages the visibility information that we have today, as well as the ability to plug into those platforms and ecosystems so that freight becomes automated. It becomes smart, and it becomes automated, and it becomes efficient. At JB Hunt, we have JB Hunt 360, and that's a, a multi-billion dollar digital freight matching platform. And we have data after years of running this platform that says over the long term, Shippers will save money and they will have better service if they are more dynamic in how they match freight and not use a static routing guide. Carriers, we know, they have a better experience on the road and they're able to move the freight that they want to move in the time frames that they want to move it. So everyone wins. And the entire system, the transactional costs of our industry go down and that $300 billion of waste in North America on a trillion dollar freight industry can be cut dramatically with more intelligent, dynamic decision making that visibility and ecosystem and data science can bring. So let's wrap up. You've heard me say disruption several times. You've heard me talk about adapting. You heard me talk about acceleration. And that's really the cycle of innovation that we lean into at J.B. Hunt. We believe that not only have we personally gone through that as people within the company, but the company has gone through that same cycle and we continue to repeat that cycle. So with each area that I talked about, visibility, the ecosystems, with data science, we're continuing to go through that disrupt, adapt and accelerate cycle. And we lean heavily into that because change is hard. And we know it's hard, but it's important. And it's critical that we as industry leaders bring about this future in a way that really improves everyone's lives in our industry and allows us to serve our customers better. So let me end with a story. I joined J.B. Hunt six years ago. I didn't have the pleasure of meeting Mr. Hunt, but he was a phenomenal person and he really embedded that culture of innovation and that cycle of innovation into the company. And I was told a story J.B. Hunt was one of the first companies in the industry to implement a mainframe computer, and that was the early 80s. Mr. Hunt took a group of investors down into the basement of the office building where that mainframe was and proudly showed that to them and said, you know, one day all of the freight in North America will go through this basement and through this mainframe. He was 40 years ahead of his time in making that statement. It may not be the mainframe, it may be the cloud, it's not going to be just J.B. Hunt. It's about J.B. Hunt working with industry leaders to come together to create an interconnected ecosystem and apply data science to that. But Mr. Hunt had it right, that if we work together, 
and we bring about the change that I know is possible and that technology has given us the opportunity to bring to our industry. The future of freight is now and the future of freight is automated.